And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northeast. Lovely clear skies out there. Uh, just a little while ago that shot was taken and uh, the shot that's going to be coming up on your screen was taken early this morning. Uh, Time-lapse photography and compression has put this into a very short little loop, but uh, it uh, actually the moon set is what you're seeing, and uh, it took a little longer than what the viz is actually showing, and the moon set was officially at 8.13 a.m. this morning. Ted Langenberg, thank you for being up at the crack of dawn to <laughs> get that shot. That was really great, and if you're interested in information, you can go to timeanddate.com, and that gives you all those kind of neat details like moonrise and moon set and sunrise and everything. So we had a lot of sunshine today. As a matter of fact, zero is where we are right now. That is our high. We got down to minus 13 at 8 a.m. this morning. Had a bit of a you know, sunrise dip there in temperatures, which is often the case, especially at the cooler times of year. There you see the numbers on the screen right now. Not doing too, too bad as far as temperatures go. We are seeing uh, some positive numbers in some areas, some minus numbers in some areas as well. And it's just the last gasp of that warmer air mass that is waiting to be uh, overtaken by the Arctic air mass that is moving down from the north. And you can really see that demarcation line. We're not getting a whole lot of cloud cover. We had a lot of sunshine today. We are expecting as that Arctic air mass impacts us even more in the next several hours, we are expecting uh, this picture to change dynamic wise and have more cloud cover moving in overnight tonight. We are seeing the chance of some possible flurries developing before dawn. And we could see some of that happening in the morning hours and afternoon tomorrow. But we're not talking about a huge amount of precipitation. It's all got to do with the flow from a low pressure center off the coast that is bumping against the Arctic air mass as it moves further south. So the forecaster is putting in some uh, pockets of precipitation in the form of some widely scattered flurry activity as we get into the morning hours and the afternoon. But as I said, just a dusting is what we're expecting. Some areas further east, you folks in Medicine Hat shouldn't see anything. Down east, still have the rotation of an upper low in northern Quebec, and that's pulling down cooler air mass into the Maritimes and Atlantic Canada. Poor Corner Brook, Newfoundland, uh, Avalon, Avalon Peninsula expecting maybe 15 to 25 centimeters more snow again overnight tonight. Blizzard conditions reduce visibility. Uh, warnings are already in place. It was a nice day in southern Ontario, positive numbers. And then that Arctic air mass, which really starts along the Continental Divide and is sinking uh, to the southeast. The coldest area right now, of course, is in Manitoba. And uh, that temperature will continue to drop overnight tonight. We're expected to pick up those cooler temperatures, but we won't be in the deep freeze uh, until we get into Saturday night is when we have that low of minus 22 degrees. Raining on the BC coast, but a lot of sunshine up north. White Horse and Yellowknife, uh, maybe the odd flurry over the next couple of days, but all in all, not looking too bad at all. For East Kootenai, you're looking at that chance of flurries tonight, minus four for a low. Tomorrow, cloudy with a chance of flurries. No huge accumulations. Two degrees for a daytime high for you. Crow's Nest Pass, a few flurries expected tonight before dawn. Minus 12, recovering to minus 11, so you can see that impact of that colder air mass. A few flurries scattered off and on throughout the day tomorrow, very possible. Medicine Hat looking at partly cloudy skies tonight, down to, well, it, the wrong graphic is up there, but minus 21 is the low tonight. Tomorrow, a high of minus 11 degrees with a sun and cloud mix. No precipitation in your future. And Lethbridge, we're expecting a low of minus 15. A few flurries possible before dawn, and then maybe the odd flurry in the morning and the afternoon hours eastward winds at 20 kilometers per hour, minus nine for our high tomorrow. And then we start to see a bit of a recovery, minus six as we get into Saturday. So the flurry activity isn't going to be with us very long uh, for what we do have, which is expected to be just a little dusting. Zero, zero for Sunday and Monday, and then Tuesday, two degrees with a sun and cloud mix. So we are going to pull out of this fairly easily. It's areas to the east that are going to be colder longer.